Hello, welcome to Oregon. Had a little rain this year. This regular torrent, and it's supposed to be uh, getting worse before it gets better. They made it through. I don't know if this little car is going to make it through though. It's getting pretty deep. Let's check around uh, the area to see what else we can find. I'll go by our uh, old house and see how the creek in back of the Buttonwood house is uh, looking. This is Johnson Creek which runs behind our old Buttonwood home. We are at the corner of Ironwood and 7th uh, Avenue here. Uh, this, this water is just about to go over the cement wall. I think this is the highest it's been in several years. I know it hasn't been this high um, since we moved to this area in 1989. So uh, let's go look at our Buttonwood, old Buttonwood house and see where the water is. This is looking up the river on the corner of Ironwood and 7th. Uh, you can see how high the water is in that direction. That's sure a lot of water. It's not gonna get any better either. No, it's gonna get worse instead of better. This is the Buttonwood house. I've never seen it this high. You can see the water coming down the ditch here. There's Kathy over there. That is a lot of water. Bob Rinker and Kathy. Getting a little windy too. A little windy here, so I have a a little trouble holding the camera steady, but you can see how the water's rushing right over that little bridge there. This is something else. That's just going underneath the road here. This is on the other side of the road. Really flooded. I'm on Church Street here, uh, right behind Safe Corporation. As you can see, the creek is overflowing its banks. This is Pringle Park right here. It's completely submerged underwater. I just talked with a gentleman who was here in uh, 1964 and he said it was just about up to the eaves of that building over there in 1964. So it's got a ways to go to match that. That's the Pringle Park uh, Center right there. This is, um, it's right behind Safe Corporation. You can see people walking along the riverbank there.
This is really unusual. It's even coming up in the street here. You can see it's pushed that manhole cover out of place. That one down there is really bubbling up. This is the Church Street personnel office, as you can see. The first floor of the building there is flooded out. As we look along down the street here, we can see where it's uh, pretty well flooded. The parking structure there, it looks like it's getting water in it also. Yeah, Tracy, give bad. us a scoop. You say, how long do they got? And about another 20 minutes down there. And they're, what, they're uh, going to shut off the electricity then? Yeah, they'll shut the power and everything off on it down there. And so we got about that long to get the rest of the furniture out. And then it's all gone from there. That's why the moving van is here, huh? Yeah, that's the fourth one we've had here. So then we've got another one here to get the rest of the stuff out of the first floor here at this building. So, but they're expecting a lot more water. <laughs> you think it's going to go over the bank over there? It has down a little bit lower. It has? Yeah. Oh. It's already gone over the banks. We've got about another 8, 10 inches out here on the other side by the hospital. And then it's going to be coming across the parking lot at us. So. I noticed I just barely made it through there when I drove my truck through. So it's yeah. getting pretty deep, Tracy. Yeah, it's getting real deep. Now, if it overflows that river, it'll be getting real deep. Yeah. It'll be like it was, what, 74? And they showed us the pictures of below that church street when the water level was five foot on the walls. Yes, and that was, so. I think, 64. Yeah, 64. Yeah, yeah. So I, I moved it. I came to this building in '74 when it was built, and we've ne I've never seen it this high. So. No, that's what somebody else said. They've never seen it that high. Yeah. And it's supposed to get worse. They just had to release water out of Detroit Dam, so they're expecting the water level to rise another four feet uh -huh. around here. Once it does that, the only thing we can do then is just damage control. Yeah. yeah. And try to stop as much damage as we can. I better get back over and check. Okay. Out okay. Well, this is what Tracy was talking about. You can see the parking lot here. The, the structure has got water on the first first level here. And we'll get over here and look at uh, at the actual building. You can see that the water is way above the floor area. They've got the door here sandbagged to prevent the water from coming in but uh, they're going to turn off the electricity here pretty quick. You can see the water inside the building here. It's uh, fairly deep right in there. You can see that chair sitting on the floor there. So this is quite a situation. Uh, they're unloading furniture there, putting them in the moving vans to see if they can salvage and make sure that they don't lose too much due to the flood. This is between the Church uh, Street building and um, Parkway. You can see the water coming down in between, coming down here. There's Jim Ross down there. It's coming down the street and right, right into the back of the building here. The parkway building uh, coming through the back entrance. As you can see, there's quite a bit of water on the standing on the floor here. The break room. The water's coming right up through the drains, flooding this area. Put right there. I'll tell you, it's a losing battle. Yeah. It's, it's coming between the buildings now. 
This is the front of the building. You can see the water coming up underneath the door there from the drains. Um, but it, the water is even with the front entrance of the building. You can see a car going through uh, in the front of the building here. There's the front of the building. Getting a little damp out here, folks. made it lucky he was pretty high there they're attempting to get all the equipment they can out of the bottom floors of these buildings there will probably be no works here tomorrow and possibly not even Friday this is the back of the high street building. You can see where the water is coming up right to the back entrance door here. They have the doors sandbagged there. Hopefully the water will not get in uh, the bottom floor of the building here. Pond here right in back of the safe, in front of the safe building. As you can see this is a type of weather just fit for ducks. Ducks are having a good time. Right now they're putting sandbags behind the safe here at this entrance. I'm going to get sandbags along the windows here to keep the water out. They don't want to get uh, water into the electrical system here because there's some switches and stuff in there that have to be manufactured. They can't be bought off the shelf. And if that happens, safe will probably be down for about two weeks. I'm inside the uh, Church Street building. You can see the first floor is pretty well flooded. I've got my gain way up, so uh, they've turned off the electricity, so it's almost natural light that I'm filming there. Since they've turned off the electricity, the water's coming up pretty fast. As you can see, it's just above the baseboards here. Well, he's taking out a hose there to make sure they can pump the water out if 
They need to. Well, there's Portland General Electric. They're making sure all electricity is off. The water running down the street here. There's where it's coming through getting pretty close to the bottom of those windows there. Pub Street now, and you can see the water is pretty high. The traffic is moving very, very slow. Here it's pretty deep. This is on Madras, uh, around by the Battle Creek Lodge here. Uh, can't get through this way, it's right up to the headlights practically. It's a little deep. For to, uh, is it Bruce's house over there on Liberty? His backyard net bridge that we stood on it's yeah. all underwater Bob Lenker's house yeah yeah I was there and I filmed it aha uh -huh. well it's fancy meeting you here Sammy oh yeah I just uh, there's a guy that I know that lives right there I just dropped him off yeah this is different you gonna go through there no way did you see the back of your house your old house yeah it's yeah. up there ain't it yeah I filmed it there's a car coming. Okay, bye. You going that way? No, I'm going to go turn around here. I can make it. I can sure try. This is unreal. This is a little scary, folks. It is covered with water. At the corner of Mulligan and 13th here, you can see how the water is coming down right between those houses there. This is just a torrent. Just a small creek here, but it's a river now. I hope I can make it across this here. We'll find out. Look at that car there, right up to the headlights. Go for it, you guys! Hey, thank you, Jesus. We almost purchased this house. It's right on the creek there. But this is unreal. They're sandbagging around here. This is Spyglass and 13th. It's just flowing. Well, good morning. Just thought I'd take a picture of what it is the day after. Uh, looks like the waters have uh, receded quite a bit since yesterday, thank goodness. Well, it doesn't look like too much damage was done. So, uh, looks like they're in good shape here. Yesterday, the water was close to the top of the bank there and uh, it's receded quite a bit. I thought he'd lose a lot more soil than he did, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape.
little windy this morning, but it isn't uh, raining at least, so that's good news. You look good, Jack. It went up to uh, this third third level here, huh? Yeah, right after the strawberries. I took all the debris out of it already. You should have seen the crap in there. It was terrible. It took out a lot of the soil, but I don't care about that. Uh, looks like your garlic survived. Yeah, down there. You know what happened? The water came in here and floated the dirt down there. So later on, I had to dig these under. Later on, I'll have to bring the dirt back up. Yeah. I think I'm lucky. Boy, I guess. You know, I didn't lose nothing to speak of. I got pictures of it when it was flowing over the bridge there. Oh, Bob did too. He was taking pictures. Hey, the water, you know those those stakes up there? You see up there of Kathy's? You can see the debris right near it? Man. That's how far it got up. Just where that line of debris is. She lost her railroad ties down here. They came loose. Bob got one of them. The other one just floated down. What can you do? You can see how high it got. Bob was sweating bullets over the bridge because the railroad ties were coming down and beating the hell out of it. That's something. Well, Bob never builds anything uh, shoddy, so... <laughs> well, he had to chain it up. He's got it chained up to that stump. Oh, wow. The water was like a waterfall, about four or five. Well, here we are at by Safe Corporation. It looks like uh, 1964 all over again, almost. I thought the stream would recede, but it hasn't. It's uh, gone over its banks. The smaller streams uh, around Salem seem to have receded, uh, like uh, by our old home, but uh, here it certainly hasn't. As we look at the steps going down to the Pringle Park, it's almost right to the top. In fact, it's almost going right over the bridge here. This is just simply awesome. And it's beginning to rain again here, so uh, things may start to get pretty rough. Uh, those businesses over there are closed. You can see Safe's parking structure there is flooded on the first floor, and the water is uh, flooded uh, the Church Street building here completely uh, on the ground floor. And as you can see, it's raining. give you an idea how deep the water here. There's a parking meter with just the head barely showing. It's getting a little windy if you can see the head, safe headquarters building. The water is right up and past the docks, the receiving dock there, it is unreal. Car going by us here, water is quite high yet, mostly due to Mill Creek. At Mueller's office, uh, it looks a little damp inside. I don't know if you can see through the reflection. There's a picture of a garbage can inside the building here. And, uh, 
More than a little rain in here, folks. More than a little water. And back of the High Street building here, in the lower parking lot, as you can see, there's quite a bit of water here. They are pumping water out of the building. They've got a huge pump here to make sure they get the water out and keep the water down. This is inside the building. They've got uh, hoses and the pumps going. Uh, just a little water in here, but they're preparing for the worst. This is the ground floor. A little water has gotten in here, but it's not too bad as yet. One of our maintenance workers. on the phone. As you can see in the back of the building they've prepared it just in case Mill Creek overflows and it just may overflow the banks here. The water comes in here they've got to keep the water out of the building. So they've uh, put plywood up all the way along along with some sandbags. Hopefully that will keep the water out should the uh, Mill Creek overflow its banks. Just to give you an idea, this is the Church Street alleyway here between the buildings, between the, uh, I guess it's a senior center there, and uh, this is quite full. This is the south side of the Church Street building again. Um, just notice how high the water is on those parking meters. Doesn't like, it look like we'll be working here for several days. Do you work safe? Yes, I do. I'm in claims. I'm just worried about the injured workers and how they're going to get their time loss payments. Oh, yeah. We paid them through Friday, so we're okay until then. Videographer there. I guess it is. Look at how high that water is. Maybe. Creek right behind the safe building. As you can see, it's pretty close to the top of the bridge there. And it's getting really close to the top of the bank here. Maybe about two or three more feet in it, it will go over the bank. There's the church across the way. There's safe building. See the water's getting quite high here. Here's the high street bridge. Back up creek towards the east. It is a raging stream, I'll tell you. No longer a creek, it's a river. Fairly well fortified on the back of the building here. So I hope that does the trick for us. 
if the bank, if the creek goes over its banks. Putting more sandbags, uh, they want to double it up along the walls here to make sure it's secure. This is right behind Dan and April's house. Uh, you can see the school here, which is home of the Vikings. It's getting flooded out. This is heading south towards the creek here. This is behind the old safe office, which is now the ODOT office. This is where Delta is. Is this Mill Creek? Yeah. Yeah. There goes Dan out there. Don't get swept away, Dan. That's a floating bridge. apartments are getting pretty close to be flooding. Flooding out just has to go over that little burn, uh, that little retainer wall there and the bottom floor is going to be flooded out. This is State Street. 21st and State. I don't think that red car is going to make it. <laughs> I can't. You think it? Well, that red car made it. No way to steer. I can't. I can't believe. Put on the road, Daniel. We don't want to go on a drink here. I guess these places are pretty well flooded. Oh, look at that guy's camera. starting to come down harder. I'm on the third floor of the safe building. Water is quite high.
This is, these are some of the homes that border uh, off of Church Street. Uh, they report that they're getting water in their basement and their sump, sump pumps can't keep up with it. So they're getting flooded. I'm in the parking lot of the Woodland Church. And we'll get a view of Creek from this side. Across the river there, you can see Safe Corporation. The river is flowing full. The lower parking lot is uh, full of water. This is just unreal. We're on River Road here. As you see uh, ahead of us is a little landslide. And to my right is the Willamette River. You can see it's pretty well up to uh, full bank level. This is Minto Brown Island Park. It is not an island anymore. The actual banks of the Willamette are just on the other side of those trees that we see in the distance here. quite a ways away. The water has come up quite substantially here on the Willamette River. You see going into the park there. This is on a rail. River Road and Poison Creek here. Pretty full. I tell you, this is on rail. Districts have already decided to close for tomorrow. They include the Salem Kaiser District uh, and some others. Of course, we'll be here right early in the morning too. This is Croyzen Creek. The houses on the lower end of this. Uh, Creek have had to uh, sandbag all the way around their homes to prevent flooding. Well, good morning. It's February 8th or 9th. As you can see, the water is receding. Beautiful, sunshiny day. But uh, Pringle Creek is still above its banks here. <laughs> Yesterday that railing was below water practically. This is the other side of Pringle Creek. As you can see, it's well within the banks today. It has dropped several feet since yesterday. As you remember, it was right at the top of those banks.
Apparently, in the evening, the uh, water did come up towards the sidewalk. See a little mud here. So it came close. You can see uh, debris strewn, uh, little tree branches and twigs here. So uh, we know the water came up at least this high. But it didn't get over <coughs> the berm here. So uh, safe was safe. As we look under the high street bridge here, you can see how the water has receded. It's a cute little duck right there. This is Safe's lower parking lot. As you see, all the water has receded from here also, but it's left quite a mess. I don't think they had to use that pump. Thank goodness. They had to cut a hole through the wall to get that uh, hose through. As you can see, they're still pumping water out of the building here. This is probably from the electrical room. But the water here at this door is uh, completely dis dissipated. As you can see, there is a little water on the floor in this electrical room, but it appears that it uh, is uh, just uh, a thin layer. This is in back of the Church Street building. You can see the branches there. Uh, the current brought that right up in here, so in the background there you can see Pringle Creek and how it's overflowed its banks. This is another view of the back of the Church Street building. The water is still high. We're waiting for Pringle Creek to recede into its banks and then this water should also recede. This is the parking structure. There were two cars left in the parking structure, a Honda Accord and a Honda Civic. Uh, the Honda Civic was floating around in there. Uh, when uh, Thursday evening, I believe, there was a, uh, a little tidal wave. Some, some creek or something broke loose and, and uh, they say that Honda Civic uh, was floating in the uh, parking structure. You can notice the debris all around. We're along the north side of the parking structure. You can notice how the water went through here and washed away the soil. Uh, they're going to have to redo the sprinkling system here. This is the east end of the parking structure. You can see, still see that there's water here in the street. This street is still in, not passable. 
I just talked with Tracy. Uh, he said that uh, little Ford Escort there, there was a 91-year-old lady in that car. She uh, drove into this high water here, and it was about up to her car seats, and she was stranded and uh, sort of confused, and uh, one of the workers uh, came and took her out and uh, took her to Salem Hospital. Her car is still there. This is inside that Ford Escort. You can see that the mud uh, went as high as the dashboard, at least in this car. This is the this is the back of the uh, east end of the uh, parking structure again. There's Jeff Davis. He's uh, taking his son out for a little walk to survey what's happened here. But you can see how the water ran through here and uh, really eroded the soil and left debris all the way along the east end of this building. This, looking, this is looking down the south side of uh, the safe parking structure. You can notice how high the water is here. This is North Bank Plaza. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look real close, you can see the water mark on the building. So you can see about how high the water was. We're just waiting for Pringle Creek to recede and as soon as that happens they can start cleaning up this mess. Well even the ducks are finding it a little desirable around here. There's one car that's been left in the parking structure. I'll see if I can get a picture of the other one here. Well, I'm inside the parking structure. I just barely got in here because the water is just about up to my boot tops. The water is uh, just too high. I can't get a better picture of the Honda Civic on the other side there. Uh, so I guess this is going to have to do. The water is just about up to my boot tops as I stand here. Now well, here's the Pringle Creek going underneath the bridge here on Church Street. the hospital in the background there.